Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another test for you and this is probably the one you wanted to see. We've got the Steel MS661C 500i and uh, we're gonna find out what these things are all about. Yeah. So we weighed this earlier and it was 20... 23.2 pounds. Full of gas and oil, 20. 25 inch light bar. Uh, we do have a 36 that we're gonna put on these later. We're going to be testing 36 brand new chains and 25s of brand new chains. Yep, on both saws. On both saws. That saw has a West Coast cover, dogs, doesn't have a bark box. No. You had a bark box. I have a bark box for it, but I had a big load of logs delivered to my house. and Like big, big logs. It was... Just hours and hours. It was the stupid 90s. big crap. And... Uh, I was sick of that thing echoing off back into my face, so I put the co stock cover back on. So, uh, you could say unfair, whatever. I don't think they make that much of a difference other than noise. Yeah. So, that's that. That one weighs 23.2 pounds, and it is rated on their website at... 91 cc's. 7.2 horsepower. Okay. We weighed it. It weighs 21 pounds, gassed and oiled, so two pounds lighter than that, 6.7 horsepower. And we're gonna find out how yeah. they stack up. So these saws are priced very similar. If you buy the 661 25 inch light bar, new chain, blah, blah, blah. It is $1,608 MSRP, 500i, 1669. So pretty similar, 70 yeah. bucks more. And this one's your fuel injection and this one's an Mtronic. So what that means is this has a fuel injector and a computer that controls it. And then yeah. that one has a carburetor, an electronic carburetor that right. is consistently yeah. adjusting it. Run these with 25 inch bar on some 22 inch hickory. And then we're going to put 36s on it. And I think the hickory is 28 inches on that side. We can measure it when we get out there. So it's going to be a good test. And you lose a little bit of barley, these dogs on it too. So, yep. Let's fire these things up. We'll get out there and we'll uh, do some cutting and see how they do. Pretty close.
All right guys, so we ran the 25 inch bars, then we finished with the 36s. Aaron, you ran both of them. What was your biggest takeaway from the test? Well, they both pull them very well actually. On the drop cut, this one was slower than this one, but I don't think it was by much. He's got the official times, but on the dog test, this one walks away from that one. I can't hardly pry on that one at all. This one I could pry as much as I wanted to. So on like the 20, 22 inch hickory, we were running a 25 inch bar on both of them. They both had brand new chains. The 500 did a 18 flat drop cut and a 16.1 dog dawn cut the 661 did a 16.3 drop cut and a 14.8 dog cut so it was a noticeably faster both ways dogged and um dropped when you're running 25s on both of them this one you can really dog pretty mm -hmm. hard and it doesn't care that one obviously it doesn't care with a 25. now we did the 36 inch they both have 36 inch bars on them right now brand new chains brand new chains never touched on either one of them on the 36 inch the 661 did a 41.7 drop cut and a 41.3 dog cut so not much difference there your biggest takeaway from running the 661 in the 36 inch bar what was it you can pretty much let it drop or pry on it it's going to be the same it's going to be the same, same chain speed same power but the torque, torque will eat up any kind of yeah. prying on it or yeah yep the 500 we were both pretty impressed its yeah. drop cut was 38.3 its pride on cut was 42.8 yeah drop cut it's got a lot of chain speed yeah it does but when you get a pry on it it wanted to stop the chain a lot and we got full house chains on both these too but the one thing with the 36 inch bar and all these teeth buried it did not four stroke no it ran really it ran really right yeah. yes now i can't say that uh if you buy a 500 you have to put a 36 on it no. just to make it run right that sounds pretty ridiculous right but we were just shocked that it was doing what it was doing it was running really good a ton of chain speed it just uh it didn't like the full house and being dogged on mm -mm. but you know i guess you could put a skip chain on it but the whole point in this test was to see the difference in torque and power and uh the, the idea isn't to make it easy on the saw the idea is to work the saw yeah. and see how it reacts yeah this one i was holding it with my i was pulling up on the trigger with this hand and pushing on the bottom with my left hand this one i literally had two fingers and i could stop it every time yeah it didn't take much to stop it and uh another thing too is I know every time we do it the other way, everybody tells me that it's not a fair test because right. it doesn't have a bark box. That one has a stock muffler. Yeah. This one has a bark box. Personally, I don't think it makes yeah. that much of a difference, but if you want to come to the 500's defense, well, it has a bark box because everybody wants to come to the uh, steel's right. defense when the Husqvarna loses to it because yeah. the steel has a bark box. This you know one, I mean? this one just has the accessories on the outside of the engine. This has, this is all stock, has a stock cover plate, stock air filter. Yeah. So, what's your choice? What uh, what sums what sums it up for you? Well, because I have my 400, and I have some other saws in that range that run 25s. If I'm going to run a long bar, I'm probably going to go with the 661, because that's pretty much what this saw does, just run a long bar. But so. it can run a small bar too. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, so to sum up the video, I don't know if you want to run a long bar, you also run want to run a 25. They'll both do it. It's just whatever you have, whatever yeah. kind of saw you want to feel in your hands, because that one is a little bit heavier. It does have more torque. This is probably a more well-rounded saw. Um, this saw or this chain's brand new out of the box, cutting great. Once this starts to get a little dull and you usually start prying on it, this this saw's going to walk away from that one because you can pry on this all day, and it's still going to pull this chain, this 36-inch bar. Mm -hmm. This one, I'm not too sure it would do that. That is a very good point. Like later in the day, as they get dull and you yeah. need to pry more, this one, yeah, yeah, that is very good point. And yes, you should sharpen your chain if it gets dull, but we're all human and well, we I, don't. you know, if I got three <laughs> or four more cuts to make, that's a lot, a lot of, of teeth, teeth to sharpen. So yeah. I'm probably just going to pry and finish up the yeah. day and get it done. You can't go wrong with either saw. They both have their place. I that one. It's a torque monster. It's a little bit faster. 
This one, one is wider. I don't know. It just like if you they're already, faster in different ways. Yeah, if you already have a 70 cc saw or a 60 cc saw and you're looking for something to pull a big bar and cut big stuff that's probably it so that's going to sum up the video they're both great choices yeah. um it just depends on what kind of saw you want to run and what you like because the 500 is not for everybody and the weight of the 661 is not for everybody yep. you know so that'll do it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time